The human body's kidneys are two bean-shaped organs that are situated under the belly on either side of the spine. It is a filter that separates harmful waste from blood and turns it into urine. It is a component of the urinary system. Only vertebrate organisms, those with backbones or spinal columns, have bodies that contain this. There are two reddish-brown kidneys in the human body. Each is roughly the size of a fist, measuring 4 to 5 inches in length. The main function of the kidneys in the human body is to filter waste products and poisons out of the blood. The kidneys filter half a cup of blood per minute. Acids, urea, nitrogen waste, and croton, muscle waste, which exits the body as urine, are among the common waste materials that the kidneys filter. The human kidney is a vital organ that performs a variety of different tasks, such as maintaining blood sugar levels, generating glucose when blood sugar levels are low, and regulating bodily fluids including water and electrolytes. Renin, which is also produced by the kidneys, aids in blood pressure regulation. In addition, the kidneys produce vitamin D, which is necessary for healthy bones to be maintained. Additionally, the hormone erythropoietin, which is critical for the production of red blood cells, is produced by the kidneys. The kidneys are intricate organs. Its anatomy is mostly composed of the following parts, renal artery, renal cortex, renal medulla, renal papilla, renal pelvis, renal vein, and kidney capsules, also known as the renal capsule. The fibrous fibers that envelop the kidneys make up the kidney capsule, often referred to as the renal capsule. It links the kidneys to the surrounding tissues and protects them from damage that might be harmful. Additionally, this makes the kidneys more stable. The circulatory system includes the renal artery. It is a blood artery that travels from the aorta to the kidneys carrying blood without filtering. Filtered blood is transported from the kidneys to the inferior vena cava via the renal vein. The blood arteries that connect the nephrons, the blood filtering organs, to the renal cortex, the outer layer of the kidney, are present. The erythropoietin hormones produced by this section of the kidney aid in producing red blood cells. The inside part of the kidney is called the renal medulla. It is made up of the majority of nephrons and glomeruli, the kidney's cleaning units that remove waste and excess fluid from circulation. Renal tubules, which transport urine to the renal pelvis, are another feature of the renal medulla. The top of the pyramid-shaped kidney structures that serve as a pathway for urine filtrate to enter the ureters is known as the renal papilla. Urine is collected and directed into each ureter by the kidney's renal pelvis, a structure that resembles a funnel. The renal artery allows unfiltered blood from the heart to enter the kidneys. From there, it passes through a series of smaller blood arteries and eventually reaches the nephrons. The glomeruli, which are tiny blood vessels that function as cleaning vessels, filter the blood as it enters the nephrons. Via the renal vein, the filtered blood from the glomeruli leaves the kidneys and returns to the heart. Conversely, the waste products that are filtered out of the blood leave the body through the ureters and enter the bladder as urine. The illness known as chronic kidney disease, CKD, causes the kidneys to malfunction and become unable to remove waste materials and extra bodily fluids from the circulation. Other health issues might result from this. Other problems or illnesses that harm the kidneys are the cause of chronic kidney disease, CKD. 
The two most prevalent ones are hypertension and diabetes. Kidney stones resemble pebbles and are often composed of minerals and salt. Urine flow obstruction from these stones can cause the kidneys and ureters to expand. They can also develop inside the bladder, ureters, and kidneys. It is created when the body contains too many mineral salts, such as uric acid, calcium oxalate, and others. Kidney stones may also result from consuming excessive amounts of salty meals. Urinary tract infections, UTIs, are painful conditions that can affect any section of the urinary system. One type of UTI is kidney infection, often known as pyelonephritis. This occurs when germs from the bladder or urethra ascend to the kidneys. If treatment is not received, it might develop into a more severe illness. Kidney cancer develops in the tissues of the kidneys, impairing their ability to function normally. It happens when kidney cells proliferate uncontrollably and develop into a malignant tumor. Maintaining a healthy kidney is essential for avoiding illnesses and issues related to the kidneys. Eating nutritious meals like berries, sweet potatoes, green leafy vegetables, and foods high in omega-3 fatty acids will help you do this. Rich in minerals like calcium, vitamin A, and vitamin C, green and leafy vegetables like spinach, kale, and chard are beneficial to the kidneys. Berries of all sorts, including blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, and raspberries, are high in antioxidants, fiber, and vitamin C, all of which support the maintenance of the cell's structural integrity. Berries also include anti-cancer chemicals that aid in preventing the growth of tumors. Fish and other foods high in omega-3 fatty acids, such as tuna and salmon, can help decrease blood pressure and lower blood fat levels. Kidney problems are less likely to occur when certain foods are consumed. Sweet potatoes are an excellent source of kidney-friendly beta-carotene and fiber. Additionally, it has a lot of potassium, which helps the body's salt levels balance. In addition to maintaining a healthy diet, the following behaviors can help lower the risk of kidney issues, exercising often, drinking enough water each day, keeping a normal body mass index, BMI, controlling blood pressure, and keeping an eye on blood sugar levels. It is necessary to give up or avoid the following bad diets and habits to develop and preserve healthy kidneys. Consuming prepared meals. Processed meals are high in chemicals bad for the kidneys and bones, such as salt and phosphorus. Those with renal disorders are particularly vulnerable to the negative effects of these commodities. Therefore, Frequent and excessive use of these may result in diseases or problems with the kidneys. Excessive salt consumption. High sodium foods raise blood pressure, which is bad for the kidneys. It may result in kidney stones forming, which obstruct the body's urine exit, swelling the kidneys and bladder. Consuming too much beef. Animal flesh proteins raise blood acid levels, which can be harmful to the kidneys. Thus, acidosis and chronic kidney disease may result from a prolonged, excessive consumption of certain meals. Eating too many sugar-filled or sweetened meals. Sugar-rich foods raise the risk of diabetes and high blood pressure, which are the main causes of kidney damage. Additionally, consuming too much sugar daily clogs the kidney's arteries. In addition to avoiding unhealthy diets, kidney disease risk can be reduced by avoiding the following behaviors. This includes smoking, consuming large amounts of alcohol daily, and abusing painkillers.